Do you know about the deadliest war in history? What if I told you that there was an entire species of killers in the world responsible for mass genocide? What would come to your mind? World War II? Perhaps you're thinking of the Vietnam War or American Civil War. Well, the deaths amassing from all three of those combined would only be a fraction of the kill count of bacteriophage. What is bacteriophage? Bacteriophage is the microscopic killer of bacteria, phage for short, a virus that is not necessarily alive but not necessarily dead. Viruses reside in a strange loophole of Mother Nature's creation. They act as if they are living but do not meet the criteria of a living creature. Viruses are not made out of cells and they can't keep themselves in a stable state. They don't grow and they can't make their own energy. Despite them replicating and adapting to their environment, if anything, viruses are closer to androids than natural living organisms. Even their appearance resembles that of an android. A strange science fiction monstrosity, bacteriophage, has an icosahedron head. Essentially, their head is a dice with 20 faces and 30 edges. Within that head, it contains the genetic material of the virus. Along with its head, it has a tail with leg-like fibers. Now, I know what you're thinking. Something as outrageous as that is probably really rare, right? Well, life is funny like that. The smaller something is, more often than not, the more there is. There are more phages on Earth than every living creature combined. That includes bacteria. These microscopic terminators are everywhere a living thing exists. Billions are on your hand, your intestines and eyelids. Don't you feel them? Their tiny legs crawling up and down your skin. They're under your nails whispering in your ear, on your lips, you cannot escape them. But don't panic. These little serial killers have a particular target in mind, and it's not you. They only kill bacteria. Like a deadly Batman, these crime-fighting viruses are on our side. Up to 40% of all the bacteria in the oceans are killed by them every single day. They are the reason that the sea isn't one giant public toilet. Regardless, don't drink ocean water. While phages are so helpful to us, they are not without significant flaws. Like any other virus, they need a host to survive and reproduce. They're not much more than genetic material in a hull, and they choose to specialize in very specific bacteria to target. These are its prey, like the Terminator. Phages single out a specific type of bacteria that it wants to eliminate and mercilessly kills it and all its family members. When a phage finds its victims, it connects its tail fibers with receptors and uses a sort of syringe to puncture the surface. In a strange move, the phage squeezes its tail and injects its genetic information, and within minutes, the bacteria is taken over. The twisted part? With the bacteria taken over, the genetic information injected by the phage forces it to create new phages for it, only stopping when the bacteria is filled to the brim. In the final stage, the new phage produces an enzyme that punches a hole in the bacteria. The pressure is so high that the bacteria quite literally explode, vomiting out their insides before it dies. The new phages are released and the cycle begins anew. The process is similar to how parasites feed on their hosts and reproduce at the expense of their prey. What can they do for us? So, what about these things that make them so special? Sure, they're fascinating in their own right, but why should we care? Well, in the past few years, bacteriophages have drawn the attention of scientists. Given the nature of their deadly disposition, you would think that we would avoid these little guys. Nope. Instead, we are actually looking into injecting them into our bodies. Why? Because we are desperate. We messed up big time. You see, in the past, something as small as a cut or a sip from bad water could kill us. The human immune system was a fragile and glaring weakness. That's why we invest so much study in health. We know as a human race that our immune system is our Achilles heel. In the past, bacteria were our natural predators. These microscopic monsters hunted us down, and for as long as humans have been around, they were the reason for billions of deaths. That is, until about a hundred years ago when we found a solution in nature. By accident, we found fungi that produce compounds that could kill bacteria. Antibiotics. It was as if we had suddenly come upon a super weapon, but with great power 
comes great responsibility. And we definitely were not responsible. It's like a caveman suddenly had access to a rifle. We went overkill with every little thing. It's like we went hunting with grenades. Antibiotics were so effective that we stopped thinking of bacteria as monsters. Only the old and weakest among us were truly a threat. We used antibiotics more and more for less and less serious causes. Eventually, we had completely lost all respect for the monsters and the weapon. You see, we got the bacteria angry and they are coming back with vengeance. Bacteria are living things that evolve and one by one, they start to become immune to our weapons. This continued until we had created what is called superbugs, bacteria immune to almost everything we have. This immunity is spreading across the world as we speak. It's projected that by 2050, superbugs could kill more humans a year than cancer. A truly terrifying thought. The days where something as simple as a cut, bladder infection, or even a cough could kill you are coming back. In the US alone, more than 23,000 people die from resistance bacteria each year. So, what are we going to do? Well, enter stage right, phages. These microscopic terminators could end up being our saving grace. Hear me out, we can inject phages into our bodies to help cure infections. How could injecting millions of viruses into an infection be a good idea, you ask? Well, phages are very, very specialized killers of bacteria. So specialized, in fact, that humans are completely immune to them. Simply put, we are too different. We encounter billions of phages every year and you know what happens? Absolutely nothing. We just politely ignore each other. Think of it like this. Antibiotics are like carpet bombing, killing everything, even the good bacteria in our intestines that we don't want to harm. Phages, on the other hand, are like guided missiles that only attack where they're supposed to. Perhaps we should have been using phages from the beginning. Wait a minute. If we use phages to kill bacteria, won't bacteria develop ways of defending themselves? Yes. Then phages will eventually become obsolete, right? No. Here's the cool thing about phages. They evolve too. You gotta remember that these little things have been at war with bacteria since day one. When it comes to this tiny war, it's truly on sight. The best part? The phages have been, and still are, winning. Phages are like smart weapons that only get better at doing their job. Even if bacteria somehow became immune against phages, we still win. As it turns out, in order for bacteria to become resistant to even just a few types of phages, they have to give up their resistance to antibiotics. We've got those little demons cornered in a Cash-22. More so, this has already been successfully tested with a former terminally ill patient. The bacteria Pseudomonas aeruginosa is one of the deadliest and most feared bacteria in the world, and it infected the man's chest cavity. They are naturally resistant to most antibiotics and can even survive an alcoholic hand gel. After years of suffering, a few thousand phages were directly inserted into his chest cavity. Together with antibiotics that the bacteria were immune to, the infections had completely disappeared in a matter of weeks. Great, right? Unfortunately, this treatment is still experimental and pharmaceutical companies are still reluctant to invest the necessary money in a treatment that has no official approval yet. Although things are changing for the better. In 2016, the largest phage clinical trial began and the experiment is getting more and more attention. I hope you're comfortable with these little terminators being injected into your body because the era of us nuking bacteria with antibiotics is coming to an end. Adapt and overcome. Who knows, maybe the deadliest killer on Earth can actually end up saving millions of lives. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. And until then, maybe check out this other video of ours.